Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Regina uh, Hensche. Uh, yeah, welcome to the Formwork Workshop. Uh, I will uh, guide you uh, to create your own uh, Formwork uh, geometry. Uh, we first have a look uh, what you can expect. Um, I show you the current uh, user interface of Formwork. And uh, then uh, we make a phone work with uh, text on path. Then we make a phone work with a warp mode. I tell you something uh, how to, uh, about the size of the text. I have some examples and tips. And uh, this is an uh, appendix um, where are uh, some things about uh, uh, markup in file source. Uh, who has uh, worked already? Uh, in the uh, file source of shapes. Okay, and I think I cannot skip it, but <laughs> we, we have to look at <laughs> to look at it. Uh, and uh, when uh, this is, uh, for example, a phone work, this uh, text here. Uh, when we are uh, look at the user interface, uh, you see. Uh, the, <coughs> the icons for the custom shapes here or here in the uh, menu. And here you have an icon with an F, and this F uh, generates a um, predefined uh, phone work shape. Uh, the separation here uh, gives the expression as if uh, custom shapes on phone work uh, shapes are uh, um, different things, but is that, that is not the case. In fact, a phone work is only a special mode of a custom shape. Uh, when you, uh, here you have uh, things uh, you can uh, collect, uh, you can click on, and you, it will be positioned in the middle of the view area. Uh, that are only um, suggestions for, st uh, for styling. But when you uh, have insert uh, such a shape and you click on it, you get the phone work uh, toolbar. This should be somewhere on the on your screen, likely in the in the bottom of the uh, where the status bar is. Uh, that has a, a flow term uh, for um, uh, geometries. Uh, the, there are um, uh, 30 uh, predefined ones here in the floater, and this um, uh, workshop is uh, how to create an own uh, uh, geometry for a, uh, for a phone work. Uh, we start with a text, text on pass, and uh, our um, the predefined ones has only a few which are really text on pass that are uh, this uh, six uh, um, uh, predefined ones. Uh, we will uh, create um, uh, a wave as uh, geometry. Uh, this uh, image shows um, a wave as it is uh, created with a curve tool. It is a, a, a cubic Bezier curve, uh, such as a start point and an end point and has a control points to, um, to determine uh, how uh, the uh, curve is, uh, is formed. Uh, but before we uh, convert this to a, a homework, we look in the markup. Uh, we will work on the, uh, on the um, <coughs> file itself, so it's uh, good to have it in a, in a form that is uh, good readable, uh, such as uh, called a pretty print printing, and you uh, should uh, enable it. That is in an options dialog uh, dialogue, and uh, then uh, there in advanced, and uh, then there is a button with uh, open export configuration, and in the search uh, uh, line, you enter pretty, and that is, uh, gives one result, and you only double-click on it, 
co se ti čuču. Uh, that's not uh, uh, in normal when it is false, then uh, LibreOffice stores in a compact form where all uh, line ends and uh, uh, superfluous uh, blanks are removed, and then it's uh, hard to find the things uh, which we need. Okay. Uh, we need um, a, a file uh, to start with. Uh, so you should uh, start a uh, draw and insert a rectangle from the basic shape categories. Double click and enter a short text. And then, that is important, do not uh, uh, simple serve, uh, save it, but save it in the uh, flat file format. <coughs> Uh, why, we, uh, why I suggest to start with an, uh, such a file is that you do not need to care about all the surrounding parts. You need not concern what, you, uh, you need not know what a, uh, a draw page is and you need not know uh, how to style something, but that is already all, uh, all in the file itself. We can uh, focus uh, really on the shape and uh, see what changes we need to, uh, to do to the shape. That, that is uh, where uh, you, uh, as I have shown in the, in the beginning, Here, here that, that are on the uh, uh, basic shape that are, uh, are here in, in that, uh, this uh, drop down there is a rectangle. Slow. And uh, in this uh, this floater, you have uh, here a rectangle. And you simply draw it, and you write some some text. And when you save it, you save it in a uh, flat format that is here, flat XML or the format. Uh, where, where can I save it? Workshop is good. So, uh, then you, uh, when you have saved it, uh, you should open it in an editor. You can take uh, any editor uh, you like. <coughs> of course, if you have an editor with, which uh, has some uh, features concerning uh, XML, uh, that's nice, but uh, even the, uh, in Windows, uh, the notepad uh, uh, does what you want. Uh, 
uh, yes, I, uh, uh, please let me, uh, let me uh, first open the, um, the sheet, and then I can, we can go here. That was pre uh, and the next, uh, that was for, for pretty printing, and the next was, uh, we make a, we make a file which we can use. Okay. Uh, when you open it in an editor, uh, it might be uh, that you have uh, very long lines. That is not. Uh, um, you can uh, enter uh, some um, line feeds. Uh, you find this part of the uh, which we need at the end of the file when you uh, scroll down you will find this, uh, um, this text draw custom shape. Uh, here and the, at the very end of the, uh, the shape, you will find this draw custom shape. You have found it? In, in general, this is a workshop, so if you have questions, please ask immediately and not at the end. <laughs> so, uh, I first, uh, I first ex explain a little bit about uh, this markup that you know uh, what, you, what you see. I have here entered uh, some line breaks so that it is not a long uh, um, line, uh, but the uh, parts are uh, beneath another. So, uh, my XM uh, <coughs> markup uh, consists in, of XML elements. Uh, if you know uh, HTML, it's uh, sim uh, similar. Uh, an element has a, a start tick. A tick uh, starts with uh, this uh, angel uh, bracket. And, um, and the, uh, it had an um, tag that had a, the same name, but uh, with a slash before it. And between this text, there is a content of the element. Uh, the content can be uh, simple text, as in this case, but it uh, can contain uh, other elements. Questions? Uh, there exist elements which have no content. Uh, they have only a starting, but uh, has this uh, slash uh, immediately before the uh, closing uh, uh, part. Okay. Uh, element uh, has attributes. And the custom shape has some attributes which are common to um, nearly all kinds of shapes. Uh, you have a reference uh, to a style for the graphic. You have a reference uh, to a style for the text. Uh, you have um, attributes which um, uh, de determine the size of the uh, shape and attributes uh, for the position. And you have an, uh, an sub-element uh, uh, P from a paragraph which contains the text that is, uh, is uh, seen on the shape. Uh, unique for custom shapes 
is uh, this element enhanced geometry. This enhanced uh, geometry has a view box. Uh, this view box determines an internal coordinate system. The meaning is uh, uh, left top, that is the origin of the coordinate system, and uh, this is the width, and that is the uh, height of the box. Uh, it has uh, a custom shape has a type. Uh, LibreOffice uses a type uh, to um, uh, assign uh, some default values. So if you make your own uh, shape, uh, you uh, need to replace it uh, with uh, something uh, type and then non-primitive. That is a, um, a fixed word which uh, indicates that it is a um, it is a shape which uh, you have uh, done yourself. It's not uh, predefined some, uh, somewhere. If you have that found in your text, you can already do that and replace this uh, text rectangle with the text non-primitive. And then we have uh, an attribute enhanced path that describes uh, the geometry itself. It has uh, a commands uh, with, a single, with a single letter, and behind that, in most cases, coordinates. Uh, the, uh, I have here a list. Um, here, for example, M means uh, uh, move to and sets a pan on point uh, zero, zero. We have an uh, L for a line to, uh, and in this case, not only uh, one uh, line to, but uh, several. And, and we have a command set for closing. We, need, we do not need it for fun work shapes. And N, which uh, says uh, this, is, this path is finished. So for our curve, we need uh, you need to know what commands you need to make a curve. Okay, then let us go back and and look. Uh, we start, but we start with a, a view box. Uh, the view box, uh, this internal coordinate system is uh, uh, free to, um, uh, to uh, what you uh, use for it. Uh, but uh, you should, it makes things uh, a lot easier if you uh, really start with a uh, left top in, uh, with zero. And uh, uh, besides that, um, sometimes uh, I don't like these this large one, uh, numbers, uh, but uh, you should uh, use um, a value which uh, fits to your, uh, to your drawing. And when, when I uh, suggest here is to use um, a, uh, a view box, which goes for, uh, with a, a width of uh, uh, 60 and uh, a height of 30. So uh, you, uh, when you um, define this um, coordinate system, uh, you should uh, use for the width and height of the shape the same ratio that makes it easier to uh, understand what you have uh, uh, drawn. I wait a moment, moment so that you can uh, change the text in your uh, where you had uh, in, in editor. So for width you enter six centimeter, for height three centimeter, and you change the view box to uh, these values. Uh, a view box uh, is an attribute which is uh, aligned with SVG, uh, therefore it has uh, the prefix SVG here. Uh, ODF uh, uses uh, um, uh, some um, 
attributes uh, same uh, uh, similar as in S SVG. It's not not original SVG, but uh, if you know SVG, you can can understand that. Okay, and now we need uh, the um, what we, the enhanced path. Uh, for the start point, we simply move to it. And this is in the middle of uh, um, the height, of, uh, so it is uh, 15. You uh, would change the move to uh, uh, 0, 15. The command uh, for drawing a um, Bezier curve is a, a C, it's a, a cubic uh, Bezier curve. Uh, the first pair of uh, values is the coordinate of the first uh, control point, and the second are the coordinates of the second control point, that's uh, here, and the last one uh, are the coordinates of the end point. Yeah? Uh, and the um, enhanced path had a um, large uh, number of uh, different curve types. Uh, I have sh uh, chosen here the uh, Bezier curve because you know it already uh, from the uh, curve command in uh, which uh, we have in, uh, in the uh, UI. Uh, you will learn an, an, an another uh, 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 one. Uh, Hopefully, <laughs> uh, but this is for the uh, for this wave. And when it is all went right, you can save your file. Uh, uh, um, um, you should use a new name, of course, and saving it still in FODT, and uh, then you. Sh uh, and you can open it in, the, in your uh, LibreOffice and hopefully you get uh, such story. If it doesn't look like that, then you could uh, go back and look whether uh, you have already all these parts uh, really changed in that way. Yes. <laughs> <This> one. <laughs> Ready? Sven? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, that is uh, a normal shape, and now we make a homework shape for, uh, of it. That is the same um, markup but only there is an additional attribute that is draw text pass equals true. So you need to open the editor and add uh, this uh, attribute, save it again, and open it in, in LibreOffice. And then you should homework. <laughs> and then it should look this way. That means that the, the text now follows uh, the curve uh, we have drawn. Uh, when you have uh, created a such shape, uh, you can uh, style it in uh, several ways. For example, here uh, 
uh, selecting another font and adding a shadow. Uh, this is a, a bitmap fill. Here I have made it in, uh, turned it in uh, 3D. Uh, that is all the same as with the predefined uh, uh, shapes. Uh, so um, to, uh, when you uh, do that, and you will keep the uh, files for um, other documents, you should make your changes as uh, really as hard uh, direct formatting. Uh, then can you drag uh, the, the shape and put it into the, your gallery. Uh, when you uh, make the, it with a style, uh, it will be lost when you drag it in the, into the, the gallery. So to make files to uh, collect in the gallery, um, make your uh, styles all as uh, direct styles. That means uh, you, you open the, the, the color, uh, uh, the area fill uh, drop down and select what you, what you uh, want, for example. Okay, that is your, your first uh, own formula shape. Questions so far? Um, um, Microsoft OXML has a fixed uh, set of framework shapes and gives the user no ability to make their own framework shapes. So, so you can uh, uh, you cannot uh, export this in uh, PPTX. Uh, uh, but this, uh, yeah. And hence, pass has only um, um, has no relative uh, commands. Uh, you, uh, they are all uh, absolute, but uh, you find uh, the same kind of um, uh, describing. Uh, a pass uh, already in uh, VML. That's uh, the same way. It's, it, it's always a, a, com a command followed by um, coordinates. There is surely one in. in <laughs> I, I I need to search for it, otherwise I can write one. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, okay, we get, uh, then we go to the next step. You still uh, <laughs> need to to open your uh, uh, file again in the editor, and now we change the uh, the geometry uh, a little bit. Uh, behind the part where which makes the curve, we end, uh, we, uh, you enter a new part, which is a move to this point and then a line to this point, which means it draws a line, um, a straight line, in addition to this uh, curve. What do you expect what, what happens? The real question: What do you expect when I have a second uh, uh, line in in my pass? <laughs> I show you what happened. It looks like this. <laughs> well, what happens there? Uh, here is a screenshot, uh, uh, here is an uh, illustration. Uh, this uh, brown um, la uh, dashed line, that is a curve, and the blue dashed line, that is this line here. And the text is stretched between these lines. Uh, that is connected here, and that here, and uh, so on. 
Here, this, uh, this gap here, that is because it is a, a small letter that uh, doesn't go, uh, reach to the, uh, uh, to the top. And here, uh, the uh, Y that goes uh, down uh, till here. Uh, this is called warp mode. When you, uh, when, you stretch, uh, when you stretch the text between two lines. Uh, it's more, um, here, uh, example from the existing uh, uh, shapes. Uh, we have uh, the open circle, we have in a um, mode called uh, poor. Uh, it has uh, six uh, lines and the uh, uh, text is stretched between. That is a general rule. If we have an even uh, number of lines, then we have a warp, a warp mode. And we have the, uh, the same with uh, our uh, called open circle uh, in the UI2, which uh, the addition curve. It has uh, three lines. And when we have an odd line of numbers, then the text is, uh, uh, follows uh, the line. The, I don't know, uh, it's a little bit, uh, <laughs> uh, I saw to make a practice with this math warp more too, but I think it's uh, from time here uh, not, so, not so good. Uh, you sh uh, what you uh, should do is, uh, you define here a coordinate sy uh, system. Uh, you um, uh, have to, to look what your, uh, what your coordinates you need. You need a move, then a line, a line, and uh, so on. Uh, that gives uh, such uh, a markup. And when you have uh, really finished, uh, then where I have the then it can look uh, this way. I have a, a simple text, uh, uh, the alphabet uh, here, and you see uh, when you uh, draw a line from left to right, then your uh, letters are uh, seen from front. And when you draw your lines from uh, right to left, then you see the letters uh, from the back. Uh, this is uh, uh, made with uh, lines, a move to, and a line, a line, a line. Uh, when you exchange the line with an uh, Y, then you get quarter ellipses. And then you have here a really a, a round uh, 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 text. Uh, that does not exist in the predefined. Okay. Questions so far? You should have, you should have learned uh, a single line gives text online, two lines give text uh, between lines. What you need, you need only to, ex to enter uh, the pass in the uh, <coughs> enhanced pass. You need to enter the geometry, and you need to enter an additional attribute, text pass uh, gleich true. Okay, then let us look um, what we have uh, in addition. There exists a uh, an additional attribute in ODF for which uh, LibreOffice has no user interface, and that is a, a attribute, uh, attribute a text pass scale. Uh, it determines how the uh, uh, text is uh, uh, fit to the um, pass. Uh, here, uh, for example, is a text uh, which is set to um, 50 point, and the dashed line uh, shows uh, the, uh, the path. When I now uh, drag uh, the shape wider, then I get this here. The text uh, keeps the size, 
and the uh, path is longer than the text. That is, the text uses the shape, uh, uses the size which is, which is defined for the shape. Uh, this attribute is um, a simple edit uh, where you have added the other uh, attribute too. Clear? Good. <laughs> I don't know, nominal size of the shape. Uh, this att attribute has an, a second value. That value is uh, uh, called path. Uh, and when you use uh, that value, uh, you get, uh, it looks uh, this way. This is the same, but when you make it wider, you see that now the text really fills uh, the whole path. Uh, to do that, uh, the font size is, an, uh, is drawn uh, larger. Uh, that does not mean that the, that the uh, nominal font size is say, uh, changed, but for rendering, it is uh, increased so that it uh, fills the uh, entire path. Okay, that was a... And uh, I want to uh, point you to one uh, problem in the uh, user interface. Uh, the user interface has um, icons for alignment. And most uh, people think that is alignment of a paragraph, but it, that is not the case. It has nothing to do with the paragraph alignment, but it is the settings which you make in, uh, in text attributes. I, I will see whether I can change. show it to you. I, I will look whether I have such. Oh, I, I have not. I I have no, nothing. All right, but you will find it. Uh, that means that uh, um, uh, this icon has a text uh, justify. Uh, that is uh, nonsense. There exists no justify for phone works. Okay, we have a, uh, I think vertical alignment is we can uh, uh, we can skip, uh, but we have um, uh, some command. Um, you have seen I have here a, a text with uh, uh, two lines. Uh, that is possible. But uh, you need uh, to enter um, each uh, uh, text as um, own paragraph. That uh, means you make a line, uh, click enter, make, uh, write the next line and enter. Uh, you cannot use shift enter. And there is no wrap that, uh, that text uh, um, breaks at the end of a line. Of course, you can uh, uh, make tricks uh, when this is a predefined open uh, curve and when you do not like it that way, but you will want your text uh, going here, uh, then you can en enter an, an empty uh, paragraph. Or here, that is a, a still our uh, wave, uh, but I ha have used uh, two uh, paragraphs, one with LibreOffice components and one with the text. Uh, Milan uh, 22. Uh, the same is, uh, what you need to know is you cannot uh, change the uh, start of a text by uh, using blanks. 
or uh, paragraph index. The text ever, uh, always starts at the start of the line. Even if you have entered uh, length, they are ignored. You cannot, send, you cannot uh, uh, align the, the text by uh, using a centered paragraph. Then, but you need to center it in the text attributes. Um, I can show some uh, examples, if you like, or have you any questions already? Okay, then show, I show you some, some more examples. Uh, interesting uh, example is a straight line as a geometry. The geometry is a re uh, really very simple. You have a move on the line. Uh, when you have an, uh, what do I get when I uh, have this? When you have an ordinary sh uh, shape and have a text on it, and when you then flip it ver vertically, uh, do you know what then happened with the text? <laughs> you have not worked with it. <laughs> it's just yes, but you can flip it, and what do you get? When you flip it vertically, then your text is rotated by uh, 180 degrees. It is not flipped, the text. Straight, yes. <laughs> but when you do the same with a forward shape, and uh, you uh, flip that, you really get a flipped uh, text. It is a very simple framework shape which allowed you to flip text. Okay. Uh, in the beginning, in the start uh, page, there was a, a spiral. Uh, this spiral is a Fibonacci spiral. Uh, the, uh, how it is defined is described in uh, Wikipedia. It is built from uh, quarter ellipses, and uh, it's very easy to uh, convert that into a framework shape because we have a command for a, a, a quarter ellipse. In this case, it is a, the Y, and then you simply need to, uh, to add the point, uh, the, uh, the target point of the uh, quarter ellipse um, I think that's, uh, it's something which you uh, should uh, try uh, when you're at home uh, to get uh, the markup is, is here. Uh, then uh, some of the existing ships uh, can be used as uh, phone work by simply adding this uh, text pass gleich true into the markup. And one of them is, for example, this uh, five-point star. And you can uh, so uh, let your uh, text follow uh, the uh, star outline. And you see uh, here, uh, you need to be uh, to trick a little bit. Here is a blank, and here is um, uh, a symbol from the from the phone. It uh, belongs to the phone, uh, so that uh, you get the words. Uh, not uh, broken in the uh, corners of, this, of the shape, but you can uh, get this uh, here around. Uh, the same is possible with a heart. That's uh, the, uh, the same one. I skip the, the um, uh, and show you what you can get. You can get some, for example, uh, this one. That's uh, the original heart, only that there is here added the uh, text pass to, and the type, as I mentioned in the beginning, is changed to non primitive to, uh, so that uh, LibreOffice get not confused with the pre predefined ones. Uh, here I had uh, added uh, dots to get the text at the uh, right uh, uh, position. Okay. Uh, not 
that's uh, too long to e explain. Uh, some, sometimes you can uh, change an existing uh, shape by simply removing. Here I have um, uh, removed the uh, straight parts and uh, then you get uh, text here, but have still the handles to um, uh, vary the uh, start and end position of the text. Uh, the needed uh, markup is here all on the uh, on the slide. So here when you can uh, you can download uh, it already. It's in the um, uh, where 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 the um, uh, speakers uh, are listened on the on that uh, side. Uh, there is uh, there are all these uh, uh, parts. Uh, it's um, the uploaded uh, files uh, contain in addition a collection of all the shapes which are, I have talked about here. So you can take that file and when you like them, you can uh, drag them into your, your gallery. And it uh, contains um, a, a file which, which has a, a macro library included uh, so that you can um, um, enable or disable uh, the forward uh, mode with a macro and you can uh, set um, par, uh, the text uh, um, a switch between a modus shape and pass also with a, with a macro. Uh, it's not an extension, but you uh, need to uh, uh, save the, uh, copy the files into uh, your uh, normal uh, basic macro uh, libraries. Okay, I think that was in time. <laughs> yes, and um, uh, I would I would prefer uh, to uh, go with an uh, Uno command and add it to the user interface. Yes, but uh, instead of opening an, a flat ODG and, and then uh, uh, writing... No, so, uh, that is only about uh, enabling or disabling a uh, text pass. Uh, we have um, to define the uh, geometry, you still need to go into the markup and edit, edit the markup. We have no user interface to define uh, own... Uh, not uh, even writing a basic macro with a dialogue uh, with the it's uh, possible of course that's, okay. not, that's not 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 the question but it's uh, it's a lot of a uh, lot of work yeah, uh, but to uh, okay. to can do be that. done uh, yeah. possible is it if okay. someone likes to uh, uh, to make an ex uh, a full extension of it uh, that's uh, that is possible okay thank you uh, uh, one addition if you uh, want to learn the other uh, commands which are possible in this enhanced class. There is, an, uh, there is a, a book uh, about that, uh, which is on, uh, uh, under documentation as all the other documentation uh, parts. And uh, when uh, you have a question after you have played around uh, <laughs> it uh, at home, uh, you uh, can uh, write uh, an email to our users ma mailing list, uh, or you can uh, ask on, on LibreOffice when you uh, at, um, at ask. Uh, I do not read it uh, regularly, but uh, when you um, enter uh, at Regina in your post, then I'm uh, notified and uh, I can uh, respond to, to your 